this morning going to be out targeting the grey squirrel it's going to be walking and stalking going to be using my day state huntsman revere safari edition in 25 fac because it's fac and a 25 i'm probably going to be taking some body shots as well just because it's got the power to do it i would never do it in a sub 12. as well as that i've got the arkan zoolis on top really enjoy using this because it's nice and compact really light and also i'm going to be using a hick micro fq35 falcon and this is an absolute fantastic piece of kit because you can use it during the day look up into the trees you can see all the squirrels running about so i think this will be quite a good morning so what i need to do now is i'm just heading over to the woods just gonna have a big walk about head over this gate get into the first bit of woodland and then we'll take it from there quick scan with a the thermal and see if there's any see if there's any squirrels knocking about then we'll just uh, be very patient have a little walk throughout the day and see how many we can get Having finally got myself into a position where I've got into the woodland, I now have a quick scan with my thermal. This is where I can see plenty of pheasants, the squirrels on the ground, so I need to keep my voice down and my movements to a minimum. So I've just stepped over that gate. There is quite a lot of activity actually. I can see quite a few squirrels and a lot of pheasants. So just looking through my thermal, I can actually see there are a few. So I'm just gonna get behind some of these trees here and I'm gonna see if I can just get myself into a prone position um, and just lie and wait maybe for 10 minutes and see if I can plunk some of them out. Using my thermal, I can see that there's a squirrel still in a tree. I've made it this far without being spotted. So I don't want to ruin the opportunity now. For squirrel stalking, patience is the key. There's a few there. Just hiding behind all the branches that are moving about. one down. Happy with that one. I can still see a couple running about though. Here we go, the second one. The second one's on a tree.
second one down. Just needed a quick second shot, but I'm still happy with that. Got two already. Only just jumped over the wall. The gate, sorry. Oh, I can see another one in the trees. It's jumping and jumping across. And it's coming over to that uh, the first tree. The tree at 50 yards is on the ground. So we've managed to take a couple of squirrels really quickly. And it looks as if the third one could be on the ground. This one is actually inspecting the first one that I shot. So it's fidgeting around and I just need it to hold still long enough for me to get a shot. There we go, we've just got three, I think we've disturbed everything now. But the third one, needed a second shot, it's down now. The second one, I should have known at 40 yards, that's my second zero, and I gave it half a mil hold over, my fault. But with the two five, you know, it's a bit more forgiving. They're all down, so I'm gonna go collect them. That's a really good start. Up to the first one. No, sorry, that's the second one. That was one which was just chilling out. So that was the second one. This one here was the third one. So that was the third one. Ah, and this one is the first one. Oh, I've just had to walk up quite a steep hill. I was shooting at an angle, so I'm looking down. So let's get these in the bag. You might recognise this place if you watch some of my squirrel videos. So I've got my feeder, she's just on the tree just here. I'm going to be shooting that during the winter. So I'm going to have a little check on this. It's filled with wheat at the moment. I'll give it another few weeks, I'll fill it with peanuts and they'll be all over it then so we're just coming into winter properly now so soon the natural food will be completely out and they'll be looking to get onto my feeder but this is a perfect time to do a little bit of walking and stalking so we're actually going to head in that direction now the gate is actually behind me so we're going to go in that direction to a different part of the wood careful on the ground because it's quite loud there's a lot of trees so I can use them for cover as I walk down they're about 70 80 yards so ideally I need to get a little bit closer again I've got to stalk really quietly but I'm using the trees in front of me just to hide myself the arrow is pointing to where I saw the squirrels on the thermal so I'm creeping my way down 
trying to get behind another tree so I can get myself comfortable and hopefully take out some more. Just down in that little flap spot, that's where the arrow was pointing. There's a couple of pigeons just on the left, but there's plenty of squirrel activity up and about in the trees. I've got myself now into a sitting position. This isn't the most comfortable, but I use the padding on the sling just to elevate the rifle, just so I can get it comfortable enough in order to get myself a shot. between 55 and 60 yards resting off your knee. I've got to wait for this squirrel to settle before I take a shot. Oh yes, what a shot that was. It's about 55 yards, so I was trying to give it about a mil and a half hold over. Trying to balance on my knee, not the most comfortable. It was a brilliant shot, knocked him right off his perch. Let's see if there's any more still in the area. Another one on the tree just here. yards I think and there isn't just one that I'm trying to contend with I'm trying to decide which one I want but they keep running off but I just need one just to stay still just long enough Another one it was about 44, 45 yards when I ranged it. Let's see where he is. I'm on a bit of a steep hill here. Well, he's actually dangling from the tree, upside down. Right, well that went very well. Let's go and collect them, if I can find them, because it's a long way down. Well, that went very well and um, I'll show you how steep this is there goes a pheasant so yeah I've got to get down there somehow I've got to go find those two squirrels and it gets even steeper just over this little bank here as well so I've just come down off one drop but looking at it now it won't look as steep on the camera but particularly just here there's another sheer drop so trying to get down is a bit too challenging i'm not risking that for a squirrel and the other squirrel that i shot is just up one of these trees just dangling so i'm not a monkey i can't climb up there so unfortunately i can't collect these two and little did i know i was being watched by this owl which had tucked itself deep inside this bush Right, that was our work. So, couldn't retrieve those two, so we're just gonna move on to the next part of the woodland. Before shooting those two squirrels, I'd actually removed my backpack and just left it at the top of the path, just to make things easier for myself. These two sheep shouldn't actually be in here. Looks like they've just got a little bit lost. But they're going in the direction that I'm going next, so I'm going to follow them and hopefully they'll take me to some more squirrels. So we're moving from one woodland to the other. So we've got this nice 
open woodland just there. But now we're going into some rather dense, much and much darker woodland. So I think probably be a bit more successful in there because it's very open there. I'm being spotted miles away. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna get myself in here. Hopefully I might be able to get another. Once I've entered this more dense woodland, noticed instantly the amount of activity. And you may recognise there's actually a feeder there. And there's plenty of squirrels running around it. And if you do watch my channel, you may recognise this feeder. But I've walked in, spooked a few of the squirrels, so I decide just to have a quick break. We've had five this morning. I've just quickly stopped in this little bushcraft area, just so I can get a nice hot drink on this really cold day. Quickly have something to eat, then we'll head out again. And uh, just see if we can get maybe one more as we go into late morning. Right. I think that'll do. We'll get back out. I'll just have a quick scan just before I get going. With this squirrel still in its place and still doesn't know of my presence, I slowly move in behind the tree and then use the tree to my advantage by using it as a support. This squirrel is completely unaware that it's got some crosshairs set dead on it. And just by timing my shot right, I give it a body blow. I've just finished having some lunch. Just saw this one behind me in this little bushcraft area. Managed to take it. Another one with a 2.5 um, body shot. Took a few seconds and it's perished just behind the tree, so now I'm just looking for it and it should be around here somewhere. If you just give me, there it is. I'll just give them a little bit of a kick before picking them up because I don't trust them. So that's six down. Um, just trying to rest off the tree. So a little bit wobbly, but wasn't a massive dis distance. Probably just over 30 yards. And yeah, that's uh, pretty stoked with how this morning has gone. Just come out of the woods behind me. Now going over onto a neighbouring farm which I have permission to be on. Getting a bit late in the morning now, so not going to be out for too much longer. Just going to venture over in that direction and see if we can see what's happening over here. This is the next wood that I'm venturing into. I know there's plenty of squirrel activity in here, but the problem is it is quite dense and starting to run out of time a little bit. But we'll see how we do. Like I said, it's really, really dense in here, so I've had a little look with a the thermal, not seeing too much above, so I'm just going to keep going a little bit further in, and hopefully I might be able to see one. 
just got to this big stone wall. Just notice there's a scroll about 30 yards just over the edge. So I'm going to slowly creep over, hopefully won't disturb it. Just seems to be sat there. I think it's got something in its mouth, but I can't see until I look through this. Right, so. Take my bag off, so I look less like a tortoise peeping over. do nicely. Go retrieve that one and probably call it there. I can't remember exactly where I shot it but I know it's not very far and my thermal's just there. Uh, just died now, so I can't use my thermal to, to find it. It is quite camouflaged. Hey, here we go. Nearly walked past it. Oh my word, it's got a nut in its mouth. Let's get this one into the bag. There you go. Right then, a really decent morning. Let's get out of here. Well that's a fantastic session that has just finished. A nice walk and stalk going after the Grey Menace. Managed to get seven in total. There's only five there, that's only because two I couldn't retrieve. One of them stuck in a tree and the other one was in a bit of a dangerous position that I didn't want to put myself in, so I decided just to leave that one. But still, managed to retrieve five. Day State Huntsman Revere and 2-5, absolutely smacking them down, doing some headshots and body shots. And the Arkansas on top, performing really well in the low-light conditions in some of these rather dense woods. Well, it's a little bit different than my usual squirrel videos where I'm just sat there at a feeder and just popping them off with a sub-12. Decided to do a little bit of walking and stalking with FAC25 and it just worked an absolute treat and really enjoyed it. It is good just to get out and about walking. It is quite rewarding where you do find a squirrel, manage to stalk into it and do manage to get it. So thank you for watching and I shall see you on the next one. Cheers.